Strong winds are really pushing it right into the Portland metro area. And that ash, it, it kind of looked like snow last night. I don't know if we have some video of that, but uh, I know I saw it at my house. Dan, you saw it falling on your car as well last night. Right, and joining us now is uh, Dr. Nick Gideons from OHSU, the Richmond mm -hmm. Clinic. Yes. Uh, tell us, you've had a lot of people come in because of the mm -hmm. weather, right? The weather is really affecting our patients' health. We have a doubling in the number of calls for advice we get or for people who have had health conditions exacerbated. Um, by the conditions that are out there. You've been around the area for a while. Have you ever seen anything like this? Nothing like this at all, um, both how it affects our patients and might be personally last night driving. It was like snow on the road. And that's something, too, you said your patient should be on the lookout for. Yeah, um, the, the, the quality of the air, the, the fine particles, um, really do affect anyone who has chronic health conditions, heart and lung conditions in particular. We want people to avoid excessive exposure. And you were saying that some of your clients are concerned about actually coming into the clinic, right? You know, we've also had many cancellations. Folks are not carrying out routine business. I'm glad they're staying indoors if they need to. People need to adjust their lives for the stress of this situation. And this is at unhealthy levels right now. Could it get worse? Um, clearly, you've seen the reports here. I don't think we're through the worst of it yet. So, um, so you talked about people who are vulnerable, the elderly, people with asthma, the young. So I got up this morning and stubbornly went on a walk. I feel fine. Mm -hmm. How big a mistake was that? I don't think it was a big mistake, Dan. I'd avoid really heavy exertion where you're really moving a lot of volume through your lungs. Um, simple dust masks really don't do much for the fine particles that cause the most trouble for the lungs. The N95 masks that you can get in some of the uh, painter supplies and other stores um, might be of, of some benefit. Folks who are healthy need to consider just adjusting their lives according to the situation and how they feel. Um, the anxiety of the situation also takes a tax on us. I, that was a good question, though, because I have two very active dogs, and I said, I have to get out and take a walk, too. Mm -hmm. And same with them. I wondered, are they okay? So I had to get out and walk as well. It's, it's time of exposure versus how hard you're breathing. I would really avoid the heavy exertion, even if you're healthy. Dr. Nick Gideons, OHSU, thank you very much for yeah. being with us. Thank My you pleasure. so much for the information.